Uh, is is privatisation the solution to this problem, Jeremy? Well, I'd say outright privatisation would definitely be a step too far. It's very important to have a, a public broadcast that you know that uh, meets an educational. Oh, come on, I can say what you really but think, Jeremy. He's got to let him answer. Come what on, Jeremy. <laughs> I find particularly hard to believe from Patrick's position is you look at the government activities of today, and you know. I don't think you'll find many people with much confidence at the moment, and I find it hard to believe that there, this is part of some long-ranging conspiracy against the BBC. It's just, it just it's unfathomable. Well, the point of view of the Taxpayers Alliance, as in everyone that pays tax, is that to actually increase tax revenues, higher taxes actually cause people to avoid tax. So if you go for a good middle ground, <laughs> then people won't need to hide their money, and the government will make more money through tax revenues. <laughs> but from, right. from the BBC's report that they put that was the news story that was on uh, published today actually. Uh, the BBC estimate is 209 million pounds for savings if you do means testing. So that's, you know, 500 million saved. That's a big chunk of this 745 sources just like that.